Hey, all right, so we went to Sprouts today. Sprouts is kind of new in our area. Um, I actually don't know how long it's been there, but it's, less, it's been less than a year. So we finally went today and I thought we were just gonna find a plethora of produce to buy but I was very pleasantly surprised with the amount of keto things that we found. So one thing that I didn't realize, but James pointed out about halfway through the store is that, um, and you'll see, we'll insert a picture right now. Um, you'll see that they label their food with different colors based on which diet it fits in. So if you're paleo, it's one color. If you're gluten-free, it's another color. If you're keto, it's the gray color, um, which I thought was really nifty. So then I got really crazy and was like, ooh, and I'm looking for keto stuff on every aisle after that. Um, I thought it was really neat. Um, I know a lot of places don't like to recognize keto as a good way of life, but shout out to Sprouts. So let's take a look at what we got. This is way more than we were planning to buy. When you find a good thing, you just gotta get it, right? <laughs> um, so starting over here, we have some mashed cauliflower. Um, this is, we're gonna experiment with this this week. Hopefully it's good, because we gotta eat it no matter what. Um, <laughs> we got some actual cauliflower, and that's gonna be for a dinner. We have some lemons. I'm making a dessert out of that. Did you say lemon bars or something? Lemon, lemon drops. Lemon drops, okay. We have some Italian squash. It's zucchini, y'all. They call it Italian squash. Yes. Um, what? Go ahead. What kind of peppers are these? I think habanero. Habanero? Habanero. There you go. Habanero peppers. What are those for? I'm gonna add spice to something, make it hot. To something, we don't know what yet. No. Nah. <laughs> Might make it to a, um, what do you call it when you make like a glaze and put on the chicken? Put on the Oh, that's like a, uh, I got what you're saying. Okay, okay. puree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Strawberries, blackberries, raspberries. Um, the Southwest chopped chicken salad. Um, it has some crunchiness in it, but honestly, if you eat an entire cup of this, it's seven net carbs, including the crunchy stuff. So, take the crunchy stuff out, boom. Um, obviously got some um, coconut almond milk. Um, that's just, just to get. So this, um, we've not had this before. We got two of those, James drank one on the way home, the Zevia energy drinks. He drank one on the way home um, and he, did, he was not a big fan of it. I thought it was okay. It also wasn't cold though, so I'm gonna try it cold one of these mornings when I, like some mornings I don't feel like making coffee, so I'll try that cold and see how I like it. Um, I think he had the mango ginger flavor and it was not a fan, mm -hmm. so we'll see. Um, Tastes like a, a um, bread bowl that went flat. Mm, okay, well, mm. we'll see. We got <coughs> some um, konjac spaghetti. For James. Yeah, you might remember we got that in the keto crate and I actually really enjoyed it so we went and found it again. Spaghetti is your favorite. Mm -hmm. Also for James, these, so they're not entirely keto, um, but you know, it's, what do I think, seven net carbs for a bar and the bars are pretty sizable. I mean, yeah, it's about like that big. So it's a pretty good sized bar of dark chocolate, pistachios, almonds, and like a little bit of cranberry in it. So, yeah. you know, yeah. it's for James when he gets cranky pants. It's a healthier cheat option. Yes. We're baby steps, baby steps. What is this? I didn't see you pick this up. Just chicken broth. Oh, for Never. race chicken broth. Yeah. Did we have chicken broth already? I don't know. Oh, okay. But I like chicken broth. I didn't see you pick it up, so I was confused. Okay. Um, I got some epic pork rinds, um, the chili lime flavor because uh, I just really want to try the chili lime flavor. Um, oh, oh, breakfast. Yeah, so we got Birch Benders, their chocolate chip pancake and waffle mix, uh, just to give that a little try. I've actually not run into Birch Benders in the wild. I mean, maybe I have, I just wasn't looking for it, but this one had a nifty little keto tag to it, so, you know, I found it. We're also gonna try the Lakanto blueberry muffin mix. I'm gonna whip up some um, blueberry muffins for breakfast this week to just kind of grab and go. And while I was at it, 
I got the Lakanto, like their little packets of sugar um, because I do love my Starbucks and they just don't have a good sugar option for me at Starbucks. So I'm just gonna keep these, like I'll probably keep some in my, um, in my car, some in my office so that I can dump it into stuff if I want, if I wanna do that. Um, all right, so now I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. It's kind of, I'm just gonna go in a random order. James found this. These are low carb English muffins. Um, so they are, let's see, for one muffin, it is two net carbs, mm -hmm. is that right? Yeah, two net carbs. Um, so interested to try those. Um, we got pork chops, because we haven't had pork chops in a while. They sell boar's head meat, so I got boar's head pepperoni, which is a really expensive way to get pepperoni, but I mean, it's boar's head, so why the heck not? Um, we got, let's see, which one is this? This is, oh, oh my God, y'all. I wonder if I can open this and show you. We got some, no, I don't wanna open it. We got some really, really, really good looking bacon from the deli. Um, it was like $5.99 a pound. There's someone screaming in the hallway. <laughs> Very confused. Okay, let's try that again. We got some very good looking bacon. It's like super thick cut. Like it just looked delicious. Five ninety nine a pound from the deli. Um, I don't know why I don't get deli meat more often than I do, but it looked good. So we got that, and then we also got blue cheese stuff. Blue cheese and onion gourmet burger patties. Um, and so we got four of those for 10 bucks, which is a little more expensive, but I mean, they put the blue cheese in the patty for us. Like, it's cheaper than what you'd get at like Red Robin. This is true. That's 10 burger, $10 yes, for one it's patty. it's $10 for one. So now so. we got four for $10. Um, so we got those. We also went through the bar aisle, got a bunch of different bars. So what a BU, BHU fit, I guess it says, whatever. This is the one that James ate on the way home with his Zevia energy drink. It was um, not that great. Yeah, it, I tasted a little piece of it. It was just kind of like, it tastes like fake caramel. Like, meh. But the carb count was good. Was it one? Yeah. One net carb? One net carb. Okay, so we got that. Um, I picked up this Primal Kitchen Coconut Lime Bar to try. Um, I'm not going to eat it today, so we'll have to find out. Um, that same company that made the caramel one, James got the chocolate chip cookie dough flavor. So hopefully that one tastes better than their caramel flavor did. And then I got some good to go bars. Uh, we got their vanilla almond flavor in one of our keto boxes and James ate it and he said it was pretty good. So I got the cinnamon pecan and the raspberry lemon bars to try out um, and we'll find out if those are good as well. So beyond that, <laughs> we also got this fondue cheese. So I like this because it's like the cheese mixture's already mixed together and you don't have to worry about that. You just um, drop it in your fondue maker. And we like to use the majority of the stuff that we bought here. So we like to use the zucchini with it. Um, the cauliflower. The cauliflower. And oh, that's what we need to get some sausage. We usually use like a kielbasa sausage with it. Oh, we had sage sausage. You can just fry the balls out of it. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, and we have beef. Um, beef tips in there as well. So we like to just cook up some meats and vegetables or we don't even, well, we cook the meats, we eat the vegetables raw, we dip it in the fondue. Um, I have like a whole fondue set. We need to find our fondue skewers. So I don't know if they're here. They were in there for a long time. Yes, I even have skewers for the fondue set. So um, fondue is, is fond of me. And I actually don't really miss having bread with my fondue. That's... Did you just say fondue is fond of you? is fond with me. Wow. Yeah. Don't judge me. Dad jokes. Don't judge me. Um, okay, so a couple more things that we got. We found Nature's Hollow Jam there. So we found Nature's Hollow at KetoCon, and I was kind of skeptical, um, but there it goes. when we tried it, it was really good. And we went through this very slowly. 
Um, we got one there. I mean, it's sweetened with xylitol and erythritol, but we went through the one jar very slowly and it's very affordable. So we're buying a new one, whatever mountain berry is. I guess it's just a mix of all the berries found in the mountains. Um, so we got the mountain berry flavor. <laughs> so we're gonna try that because I had been meaning to order some more and I just never got around to it. Um, got my all time favorite cherry cola zevia. Cherry cola zevia. You want to mention the kids that you saw there? Yes. Um, so beyond the energy <coughs> drinks, they also have the alcohol mixers and the regular zevia, but zevia kids i think i talked about this very recently i ordered the um sampler pack or i ordered the what is it called when you they get all the flavors Sample. the variety pack i ordered the variety pack from amazon of the zevia kids because i really wanted to try it the flavor sounded good and interesting and they really are like there's only one that i was like eh, about and at the time when i ordered it they didn't sell it anywhere in stores which because i would have gone to the store to buy it apparently since then, which was like three weeks ago when I ordered it, since then they started carrying it at Sprouts. So they do make, they do sell it at the store now. So if you have kids who are watching the sugar count or who like soda, just, I would recommend the Zevia Kids. If you don't have kids, I still recommend it for you as an adult because it's delicious. Um, yeah, so they have that there. Um, it's the only place I've seen it or know that it's sold in the wild. We also got this cheese tray now. Listen, we paid $13 for a bucket of cheese, and it's not that I can't cube the cheese myself, but look at this cute little football that it comes in, and it's like a reusable football thing, so you might see that again for Super Bowl Sunday. Is it dishwasher safe? I don't think it is, but it's hand washing safe. Okay. I don't know. We could try it. I don't know. I would probably just hand wash it. But that was pretty nifty. Um, so we picked that up mostly for the tray, but it doesn't hurt that it comes with cheese inside of it. So we, I love Sola Bread, um, which is like, I think three carbs for three to six carbs per slice, depending on which one you get. But um, we found this and it says that it is low carb, high protein. So I was interested. And when I picked it up, it said it was only one gram of carbs per slice. Um, of course, this is like dirty keto to the max, right? It's probably not like, the cleanest ingredients in it. I don't even want to know what's in it. All I know is it's one gram of card per slice. So we're going to give that a try. Um, it is more expensive than Zola bread though. So we'll see which one tastes better. Um, but I think I'm going to do some sandwiches this week on some of this bread because even two pieces of it is still less carbs than one piece of Sola. So yes. That is what we picked up from Sprouts today. And I'm like super excited. We really, y'all, we did not go in there expecting to find a bunch of keto stuff. Um, so I'm just excited that we did. So that's our haul. Thanks. Oh, wait, no, hold on. So there's a couple other things. I took pictures. Um, we'll insert them right now, but they also have where you can scoop your own. There's monk fruit and, um, they had almond flour and coconut flour and it's way cheaper than buying it bagged. Um, I didn't buy the monk fruit only because I specifically wanted it in the individual packages this time. I have plenty of monk fruit that's not in an individual package already. But I will definitely be giving that a try the next time we run out and go back and scoop my own. Because it's way cheaper to do that and fill up a little bag of it. I was excited about seeing all that salt. Yes, they also have Himalayan pink salt that they've like already ground up for you. Which is nifty. You could scoop that yourself. They have nuts that you can scoop yourself flaxseed meal like you name it they have a whole bunch of like bulk buy stuff that you can just scoop and bag as much or as little as you want so if you ever have like a recipe that you're making and it calls for like um random like i don't even know it calls for some some flour or something that or nut flour that you don't have on hand go to sprouts get you a little bit so you don't have to waste your money buying a whole package of it um and see if you like it and yes it mm -hmm. was i was pretty impressed with that so yeah that was the other thing and i think that is all that i forgot to mention about sprouts okay so that's it for our sprouts haul today thanks for watching thanks for stopping by like subscribe leave us a comment do you guys go to sprouts am i the last person to discover sprouts why haven't you guys told me before um, let me know and let me know if you want to come over and try anything